One of the most important things is the pre-tournament side of it. Before we even get to the lake to practice, do your homework, right? Figure out as much as you can about a body of water. You might think, how does that have any impact on me mentally? It's because you're building that confidence. You're building those building blocks that when you get to that body of water, you've done everything in your power to figure out what you can, right? You know everything that you possibly can about this body of water. You've put in the work. So now you just gotta apply it. You just gotta find them, right? And, and you have to envision yourself. This is one thing that I learned a long time ago, and this applies to anything in life. This doesn't even have to be fishing. When I go to bed at night, like if I'm focused on something, this is why I love the classic, and I wish the classic was still our first tournament of the year, because I could spend three months doing this up to the classic, because it's an all win and in, you know, tournament. There's no points involved. I would envision myself every night going to bed, winning. So, first stop. Well, good, they're biting, you're all good. <laughs> don't change a thing, right? You don't need to change anything if they're biting, like, not mentally having an issue. Now, there's no mental stress if you pull up to your first spot and you just go to smashing them, right? Toledo Bend this year, I caught six, I caught five fish in six casts. Caught my limit in six casts. That's easy. The problem was is that when I put six fish in my live well later that day and made another cast and got a two pound penalty, I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> I give myself more penalties and disqualifications than anybody I know. But, you know, you just, you get over it. And what happens if you don't? What happens if they don't, if they're not there? I did it at Darnell this year. I found this place in practice, pre-practice. Never been there, so I'm like, I'm gonna go just learn how to run around. You know, it's full of stump, shallow, we pull up, I find this beautiful, beautiful area. Got to idle over all these stumps. The boat's kind of, you know, rocking up over everything. It's like two foot deep. And that drops into a seven, eight foot hole in the back of this flat. And it doesn't show up on the map. It doesn't show up on the contour map. It's hidden. I'm like, they got to live here. Fish around, nothing. I'm like, ah, oh, they'll be here when we come back in a month. Show up there. First day of practice, I slide in there. There's nobody around. I'm like, here we go. Start flipping around. It's got big, giant mats over eight foot of water. Never had a bite. I'm like, what? And I'm like, why, why are there not fish here? Everything says that they should be here. So I go through practice, and I end up finding an offshore bite. So I'm going to catch them offshore. That's my goal. Like I find a couple offshore schools. First tournament comes around. I'm all pumped up. I'm telling my camera guy, like, hey, we're going to catch them as long as we can get there and there's nobody else on these schools. I show up. Jesse Wiggins is sitting right on the first place I want to start. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't have enough places to like just keep jumping around and have people on all of them. So I slide up there. And this is where communication is key. I'm like, hey, Jesse, what do you want to do in this situation? I'm like, this is where I wanted to start. You know, and this is like way back on a flat. I'm like, I ran all the way back here to start. I'm like, if you let me in today, I'm going to beat you here tomorrow. I'll let you in tomorrow. I don't think either one of us ever caught a bass. <laughs> he lets me in, right? Great, yeah, you come in. I'll come back tomorrow. You let me in. Perfect. <laughs> Never catch a bass. So I'm like, well, that was a lot of work for nothing. Run to my next offshore spot, nothing. Run to my next spot, nothing. Thought, huh. <laughs> now it's like 11 o'clock, I haven't caught a bass, and I'm pretty much out of my offshore spots. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll go check that hole again. Right, I've fished it a bunch of different times, haven't had a bite. I roll up in there and I spend the next three days in there.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.